All right, kiddos, I'll see you later. Big huggies. Big huggies. Oh, you be good, okay? Okay. I be good, be good for daddy and grandma and Aunt Karen. I miss my huggies. Oh, you be good too, okay? Okay. All right, I'll see you guys later. Bye. Addie is away at a sleepover camp with our church. She um, is supposed to be gone for three nights in Kentucky at a place that's about four hours away, maybe three and a half hours away from home. And I got a call last night that Addie wasn't feeling well. So she's running a fever and she's on her way to the doctor right now. But it looks like I'm going to have to drive to Kentucky to pick her up because obviously we don't want her getting all the other kids sick. We don't know exactly what she has and we're waiting for a phone call um, what she leaves the doctor's office. They think it might be strep throat because she's complaining of a scratchy throat. Um, I just feel bad because Addie is my child that never, and I mean never, gets sick. I don't understand her immune system, but she is healthy all the time. And of course, the one time she gets sick is on her first experience at a sleepover camp. So I'm bummed um, for her that um, she's gonna have to miss out on the last you know, day and a half of activities. But I definitely don't want the other kids to get sick. And if she's not feeling well, I'd like her to get home and be in the comfort of her own home. But I do feel bad that she's um, gonna have her trip cut short. Since we're gonna have a long ride home and Addie might not be feeling that great, I thought I'd stop by Target on the way out and pick up a new movie that she could watch on the way home and hopefully keep her just comfy and help pass the time. Nancy Drew might be a good option. Addie is really into like mysteries and detective stuff lately. So this might be right up her alley, although Harry Potter is kind of calling me too. Believe it or not, we're probably the only family in the country who has not seen or read Harry Potter. So I'm considering starting that soon, but maybe Nancy Drew's just what we need for the ride home. Keep her busy, keep her entertained, and hopefully keep her feeling good. I've got my iced tea, I've got my DVD, and I'm gonna head out to pick up Addie, get ready for my three and a half hour drive. I actually got to speak to her this morning and a little bit last night, and luckily she sounds like she's in a really good spirit. She didn't sound like she was sick, she didn't sound like she um, was miserable or not feeling good, so that makes my Mama Heart feel a little bit better knowing that even though she's three and a half hours away, she is in really good spirits and is happy. It is actually the next day now. Um, right after I left Target yesterday, I got a phone call from the camp people and they told me that they had just left the doctor's office and Addie tested negative for strep throat and the doctor was pretty positive that whatever she had was something that would not be contagious to the other kids at the camp unless she shared drinks with them. The camp people, the doctor, and everyone agreed that as long as Addie was in great spirits, which she really was, and she wasn't at risk of getting any of the, of the other kids sick, that she could stay at camp. Just as I was getting on the highway, I turned around and headed back home. Before we made the decision to let her stay officially, I got to talk to Addie and she was in a great mood. She was really pumped about the opportunity to get to stay for one more night before everybody came home the next day. And the people that were there with her at the doctor's office said she was just a chatty Kathy, talking away. So I felt pretty good. Plus I knew that she was in amazing hands. All the people from our church that were there with her were gonna treat her like their own daughter, take care of if she needed anything. So. She ended up staying the night, and now we're getting ready for her to come home today. And it's probably about good, Buggy. It was good. To welcome Addie back home, we're going to make one of her favorite sweet treats that we haven't made in a long time. What are we making, Maya? Um, cupcakes and ice cream cones. Exactly. It's one of her favorite treats. I grew up on these. I love these as a child, and I still love them as an adult. And you basically just buy a cake mix. Check. Cake ice cream cones, frosting, and you bake the cupcakes inside ice cream cones, 350 for, I don't know, about 20 minutes or so, and frost them when they cool, and they are really, really good. Hi, Colin. Did you sense that there was some baking going on in the kitchen? Do you wanna help like the bowl? <laughs> All right, we're gonna pour the batter in about three-fourths of the way to the top. I'm gonna let you lick the bowl with Maya when I'm done. Yeah! Cupcakes 
are in and the kiddos are already licking the bowl over behind me. This is the best thing I ever had. Oh, the best thing I ever had. <laughs> Knowing Addie, I have a feeling she gave it all she had so that she could stay at camp and muster up enough strength to get through all the fun activities, but I have a feeling the moment she gets home, she's going to crash. And probably any little bit of not feeling well that she felt at camp will be magnified when she gets home. So I'm gonna still use the DVDs that we bought at Target and I'm gonna set up a whole like crash pad area in the living room so that when she gets home, the kids can just lay down the rest of the day, get comfy and have like a full on movie day and of course eat some delicious cupcakes. I think they're ready. Perfect. Okay, we're gonna let them cool for a few minutes before we try to frost them. I think I may have filled them up a little bit too much. Some of them are overflowing a little bit, but most of them aren't too bad and they'll still taste good. So while the cupcakes are drying, I thought it would be a great idea to have my work on making a welcome home Addie poster so we can greet her when she gets off the bus and make her feel very welcome to be home because we have missed her very dearly. It's the first time she's been away from home other than like with family members this long and it's, it's a really strange feeling so we'd be so glad to have her home and back under our roof tonight. I'm gonna use this and Here comes a helper. So, I'm making a poster that says welcome home. What did you miss most about not having Addie around? I missed playing hide and go seek. Playing hide and seek with her. You guys do love to play that. Because it's my favorite game. And Colin's not quite as good with playing hide and go seek as Addie is yet, is he? <laughs> he counts to 20, he finds us, but it kind of takes a while. <laughs> Maya, your poster looks so good. Addie's going to love this. But guess what? What? I'm done. Let's see it. You want to hold it up? Oh, wow. Welcome home, Addie. She's going to love it. What do you think, Colin? Is that cool? Yes, cool. Maya used a little bit too much glitter glue, so it probably needs to sit outside and dry for a few hours. Luckily, well I shouldn't say luckily, but we got an, a message that their bus is a little bit behind schedule, so we're gonna have a little bit more time to let the poster dry adequately. Kiddos, and you know what time it is now? Time to frost the cupcake. You wanna go help me? Let's go frost Yum. the cupcake. Mix in the sprinkles. It smells so good. <laughs> Does it? You're gonna get some frosting put on there, bob it, and then smooth it out. I need my pan. It's right there. Use that. There you go. Use this, Colin. So you have chocolate frosting and funfetti with sprinkles in it. And you can put it all over the top and then eat it. While Maya and Colin frost their own cupcakes, I'm gonna get the rest of them all frosted and out and ready for when Addie gets back. I think Addie's going to like the funfetti ones more, so maybe I'll make a few more funfetti ones for her. Do you guys agree? Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. When you bake these, the cupcakes become a little bit softer, which sounds kind of weird and gross, but it's actually really good. See if I can put this on without hitting them. Perfect. We're in the church parking lot right now waiting for Addie's bus to pull up. Who's excited? Me. Do you want to see Addie, Colin? Yes. Yes. <laughs> Part of camp. Oh, maybe competing against the other team. And there were a lot of churches there, I think, and your group, our church, won the competitions, didn't they, Addie? What did you win? Silver toilet plunger. A silver toilet plunger? Yeah. So silly. Well, we're so glad to have you back. I've got your medicine. They got her an antibiotic while she was gone, and we're gonna go home and 
We have all the crash pads laid out so Addy can relax and watch a movie. We made a treat for you, and Maya made a special poster for you too. <laughs> Maya worked really hard on that for you. That's so <gasps> And look what's over here, girly. They're cupcakes. Oh my god, I remember those. Like you cold? Yeah. I, I, I heard you got another one. What, sugar? I'm so cold and I have two blankets. We're glad you're home. Mm -hmm. So you're not feeling well though? Yeah. You said she was shivering the whole way home on the bus. Well, the last 45 minutes. The last 45 minutes? Mm-hmm. We'll keep taking your medicine and get you all better. I think Sandy missed Addie too, didn't you? We all, we all missed Addie, Ruth. Well, sure enough, Addie was a little bundle of energy when she got off the bus, but starting about 10 minutes into our drive home, we could tell she started fading. She was getting cold, getting tired, and I think now that she's home, she's just gonna crash. So we're putting the DVD on for Nancy Drew, and hopefully she takes a little nap and we get some rest and get feeling better very soon. Well, thank you for watching Tic Tac Toy Family. We'll see you next time. XOXO.